Hello everybody, welcome to this session. Uh, the objective of this session is to uh, see how to create a transfer order with respect to a transfer requirement. So the prerequisite is that you already have a purchase order in place and uh, the purchase order you have done a MIGO that means the goods receipt is already being done and the middle document or the transfer requirement both has been generated so I am picking up a purchase order uh, for which uh, there will be a transfer order generated sorry transfer requirement generated so let me go into LB03 now this is my uh, warehouse number and this is my TR number wow so you can see here uh, there is a this is a purchase order number you can see here and this is requirement this says uh, B101 means it says that this is actually a moment of a uh, goods receipt with respect to the purchase order this is a requirement type basically it will tell us that what is the kind of the moment type like 101 or 103 in warehouse but in IM level when it comes to IM level 103 or 101 whatever it is it all will be referenced to 101 basically so here this is actually a 101 moment type or a goes is it with respect to a purchase order so this is your purchase order number the same would have been adopted as a dynamic storage bin under 902 uh, and you can see here this is a material and this is a quantity so uh, it all looks fine for the transfer requirement now uh, let me go into the transaction code so the uh, transaction code to create a transfer order with respect to a transfer requirement is lt04 so I'm going to type LT04 and you can see here it says create transfer order from TR. So I have a warehouse number it's given the TR number is given all right and then I just have to press enter. Now here you can see that the TO it says create TO fraud TR and so prepare for put away. Now here there are a lot many op options either you can say generate next material if you click on this that means it will it, you are asking the system to pick up the destination storage bin automatically on its own. Say for example if I am going to do this you can see here this is a transfer order now I just have to say ok save so it will be picked up by the system automatically. The second option is you force the system to say that I want to have this material placed the open quantity is one here into which bin so I want this material to go into this bin only so I would say here one so it will supersede rest of the things and it will pick up that only you can see here it has picked up now the second option is put away foreground if I click on this then it will be like system will identify you can see here right now it has picked up the same thing reason being I have already given so if I would have not given this entry for example let's say we delete this we trash it out then if you do put away foreground okay we need to go out and we need to come in again all right now here you can see that it has picked up a different bin it has not picked up that bin so this is how the system would be picking up so if you would like to see that how the system has proposed here is a storage bin search log you can see here that a system first it went into 902 under that this is the storage bin now determine this is a destination data so here you can see the uh, E is put away and then this is your storage type indicator that is a HRL the channel means is a high rack so the storage type is like 001 and here the put away strategy it has picked up is next empty bin so the bin to which we were adding is already having one uh, quantity so that's why it has picked up the next empty bin and here bin type is E1 and then the storage bin is this so this is how the system will be defined remaining we'll be looking in upcoming videos a um, uh, little more on how does the search strategy is set up in the system so this is how the system would be determining but if in case you really do not want to have this then you can always trash it out and you can go for add to existing stock now here i mean i think that i should go for this so i do not want to waste the space right now and uh, i'm just pressing enter and then let me come back 
and then save it so this is how i have created so my transfer order is created so this is how you would be creating a transfer order with respect to our transfer requirement manually but in a majority of the cases typically in a business scenario what we do i mean for 101 purchase order we uh, unless there is uh, inspection sampling or quality management imbibed we uh, typically do a uh, manual uh, we typically do a automatic uh, transfer order creation and uh, we typically do a automatic transfer order confirmation anyways uh thank thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to our channel for uh, watching uh, little more videos like this uh, we would be updating on uh, many more videos like this thank you so much